Good morning. Good Sunday morning, y'all. Look how beautiful it is outside. It is gorgeous here. Okay, now it's cold. It is cold. I think it's down in the 30s this morning or something. Um, I've already been out in it, okay, and I'm back. I was only out for a minute. We're going to get this dinner up. Uh, I'm going to show you what I have, okay? Um, let's just take a look. All right, I've got a beef roast that I'm cooking today. Okay, I had it out there in the freezer a while. We need to cook it. So I'm going to get this seasoned up. I'm going to get it on the stove to sear it. I'm, I still need to cut up my vegetables for it, which will just be onions, bell peppers, and some fresh garlic. Okay, and of course, we're going to put some thyme. I'm going to braise this piece of meat today. I'm not going to cook it on the stove, but I'll be back to just show you little snippets of it because I know you all see me sear uh, brown up meat. Okay, but that's our beef. And remember, this fat you see in here, we want to leave that fat there. Okay, don't cut that fat out. That helps your meat, helps to tenderize it and helps it with flavor. Okay, the another thing that I'm going to be preparing are pinto beans. Okay, I let these beans sit all night. Now, this pot started half full. In fact, they were covered in water, but you can see they've expanded. Okay, so they are ready. What I'm going to do first, though, for my pinto beans, I have here two ham hocks. For those of you who don't know, okay, these are smoked ham hocks. All right, good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. I've got two of them in here. I might take and find some other uh, pieces of pork that I have. Yes, I'm cooking them in pork. Okay, I've tried the smoked turkey. Mm -mm, not a fan. But um, of course, if you don't eat pork, then you would use some kind of smoked turkey meat or what have you. Okay, um, but I'm using my pork, y'all. And I, put, I always put a lot of pork in my beans. Okay, so I have some pork scraps. I'm going to put those in here as well. But I'm going to get these ham hocks up. I'm going to let them cook for a good hour before I drop my beans. Now, those beans are going to cook a couple of hours too, okay? So, all together, it's probably going to be about a three-hour pro process. Now, look, I know a lot of people use Instapots. I have one. I'm, I just prefer to cook my food on the stove. It's just nothing better. Okay, if you have the time, um, as I do, if you have the time, put it on the stove, let it cook. If not, you can put it in your Instapot. Now, if you don't want to cook the beans in the Instapot, you can always put your smoked meat in the Instapot, get it done a little bit faster, and then put it on the stove with your beans, okay? There's all kind of ways to to do it. I'm doing it the old school way. Okay, y'all. And I'll be back with the rest of my dinner. We're having string beans and potatoes. Um, I'm having candied yams. Yes, y'all. I haven't had my candy yams since Christmas. It's time. Okay. But I'll be back with the rest of this meal. All right, y'all. I'm back with this meat. Okay. Um, hopefully you can see it. This is my uh, chuck roast. This is a chuck roast. Beef chuck roast. Okay. I've already seasoned it up on both sides. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of flour on it. Okay. Remember what I always say. I use flour because this flour, especially since we're going to put it in the oven, when it comes out, we want it to be done. Everything about it is done. Okay. Even the gravy. So that is why I started with flour, all right? And just just a little bit, all right? Just coat it a little bit on both sides. And then I'm gonna drop it into this hot grease. And you can see in this pot, I got maybe three tablespoons of oil. You can use vegetable oil. Um, any kind of oil, y'all. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead on and drop this piece of meat in here. And all I'm doing is letting it brown. That's a pretty good size roast there, y'all. We should be able to eat off of that for two days. Yes. But I'm going to let that brown. Wash my hands real quick, real quick.
Okay. And it's only going to brown a couple of minutes on each side. And then we'll be back to put our vegetables. And let me show you our vegetables. As you can see, I have some sweet um, red, orange, and yellow bell peppers. I have a whole medium onion in here cut up. And I also have a half of a large green bell pepper in here, okay? And if y'all been watching me long enough, y'all know, same drill. I also have some fresh garlic. This is four cloves, okay? I'm gonna let this meat brown and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we got the meat browned. Okay, I just set it right back in that pan there for now. So now what I'm gonna do is drop my veggies in. Oh, I didn't cut those up, did I, y'all? Had some down there, didn't cut up. All good. And we're just gonna let these vegetables go for a minute or so, because they're gonna all cook in this pan. This entire pot that I'm that I've seared this meat in and these vegetables, they, this pot is going right into the oven. The whole pot. Okay. Now on my meat, I put your basic seasonings in there. Okay. Salt, pepper, all purpose, a little lorry, onion, and garlic powder. Okay. That's what I put on my meat. And the other couple of seasonings that I'm going to put in here, and I didn't overdo it, okay, because I have other stuff to go in. I always put in my um, chuck roast. If I have it, I always put in this. Um, it's, it's actually a, where you take the bag and put the roast in the bag. Well, I don't use the bag. But I do use the seasonings in this, okay? Good stuff here, y'all. It seasons up your beef roast beautifully okay I'm also going to add in a pack of this onion soup mix I'm gonna put water in the pot I'm not using broth y'all okay with these packets that I have I don't need any broth now what I will do in my water I will add just a smidgen of this beef bouillon just a smidge, okay? Because we got a lot going on in this pot. Okay, you don't want to overdo it. Okay, so those those vegetables are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to drop in my garlic. Because I'm getting ready to put this meat back in here. With some water. And I also have some thyme here. We grab my thyme. Gotta have my fresh thyme. And if you don't wanna use the fresh herbs, and let me show you what I just dropped in there. I did it so fast, some fresh thyme, okay? You don't want to use it you don't have to I love fresh herbs in my food gives it a little extra something now you see those vegetables we're gonna go ahead on and we're gonna put our meat back in here I'm gonna drop that meat right on back in okay All right, we're gonna put some water in here and you want to cover your piece of meat. This piece of meat is going to cook for three hours in the oven, right? So you wanna be sure it's covered with liquid so that it can cook. Chuck roast is tough. And it's got to cook for a while to get tender. It's a tough piece of meat. Can't cook it fast. Okay, that might look like a lot, but it's not, y'all. Make sure you cover the meat. 
Now I'm going to take this season packet here. I took the bag out and I'm going to put this in there. Yes, yes, and yes. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm going to put, this helps with the gravy too, this onion soup mix. I won't hurt to use it all, okay? And don't worry about it. When it gets in that oven, all of this is going to come together, y'all. Mm. It's going to be a good roast. I'm trying to get some of those vegetables up. And now once I put this in the oven, I don't have to check it. I, I won't have to check this. Okay, if you, you can, if you're feeling a little uncomfortable, okay, you want to see how it's doing, you can. But it's going to retain, that's just a little bit of beef bouillon a very small bit bit of it um it's going to retain the the liquid in here okay so right now that's done okay i'm going to put a lid on it put it in the oven at 350 degrees for three hours all right y'all we're back with these pinto beans these ham hocks have cooked for an hour let me let you see them i did find a little piece of hog jaw in the freezer so I cut that up in here as well but that's my meat okay and now I'm getting ready these peas have been soaked overnight and I've just rinsed them off really really good okay so now I'm going to take and dump these peas on into this pot that's a lot of peas y'all Good God Almighty, that's a lot of peas. Them, those things swole, okay? But that's good. We'll have plenty, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add water because you know these, these beans have to cook, okay? They gotta cook, so we wanna cover these with water, okay? And I moved it to, to the front eye because I'm gonna keep my eye on them, all right? The, the, the water will continue to cook down on these beans, so you have to be careful. Okay, I'm going to add a little salt for now. Just a little, because we got all that smoked meat in there. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, all-purpose. I might put some onion uh, powder in here. Okay. All right. That's it for the beans. Now, if you want to put some onions in here, I may add some when they're close to being done. Okay, I may add some, some fresh onions in here. For now, I'm not. I'm just going to let them cook. Okay, but any kind of seasoning you want to put, put in here, put it in. All right. We'll be back. All right, y'all. I'm back with the string beans. I'm not going to take you through the process because we've done that um, a number of times, I think. But what I'm doing is I have two bags of fresh string beans. I'm just taking and popping off the ends, okay? Popping them down the middle to see if we have any strings and pull them off if you do, okay? I'm gonna get all these popped up and then I am going to wash these, okay? I'm gonna wash them with just a tiny bit of soap. Tiny bit, that's no good. And uh, get them rinsed really, really good and put them on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry a little bit of bacon and I'll come back and show y'all that. Um, that's it. I'm just going to put a little bacon in them. I'm going to let them cook for, for a while. And then I'm going to add some small potatoes. Let me show you those potatoes. So I can find them right quick. And of course I can't. They're here somewhere, y'all. But I have really small little um, round potatoes. I'm going to split them in half and I'm gonna add them to my string beans, okay? All right, y'all, what I have here in this pot is for my string beans, it's just regular bacon, okay? Breakfast ba bacon, I put it in there with just a smidgen of um, vegetable oil, just a smidge, okay? Because I want the grease in my string beans, all right? And if you don't want to use the bacon, that's fine. You don't have to, of course. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this pot.
all right I'm gonna add my string beans my fresh string beans I've cleaned them I've rinsed them they are ready to go and I'm gonna let these cook a little while mm -hmm. 30 45 minutes okay put a little salt of course just a little bit oh, let's use this all-purpose up here put a little all-purpose here in it okay give them some taste yes and I put a smidgen of onion powder and then once uh, they become tender, we'll add in, that's a little onion, y'all, just a little bit. We'll add in our potatoes, okay? And I might add just a smidgen more water, but these are ready to go, okay? Y'all, I want to come back real quick and show you these beans. Look at these beans, y'all. Pinto beans, look at them. We've got those ham hocks in there with them. Look at that. I took and I added, um, I did add uh, half of a very tiny onion in here. Look at those beans. They're already done, y'all. I know that they, they did not cook for two hours. They cooked so fast, and I guess that's because I soaked them all night, right? Those beans are absolutely gorgeous, and they are delicious. Be back with the rest of the meal. All right, y'all, there's our string beans. They've cooked down. I'm gonna take and put some potatoes in here. Look like I got more potatoes than I do string beans, but that's all good, because they're gonna eat them. With that, oop, lost one, with that beef. Okay, and, and I could have just put the potatoes in with the beef, but instead I'm gonna put them in here with uh, these string beans and, and we like our string beans soft you know there are times when I'll make them a different way where they're a little bit more crunchy I'm just putting a little bit of salt on these potatoes I'll put a little pepper on them let them cook for about 10-15 minutes and they're done be back with that with that beef roast. All right, y'all. I am back. Look at this meat, y'all. Look at that. Y'all, the meat is so tender. Look. It's so tender. I'm not going to mess with it. But I wanted to show you how tender this piece of chuck roast is. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Now, normally... My gravy is just a little bit thicker, okay, just a little bit, and that's because I didn't put the, the flour in with my vegetables, which I normally do. I didn't do it this time, and that's, that is okay, all right? If you want your gravy to be just, just a little bit thicker, look at that, then what you can do while this is still in the oven, or even now, if I wanted to, I could put some flour and water in it, put it back in the oven. I'm not going to do that. This is fine. Is this beautiful or what? This piece of chuck roast has basically almost cooked apart, y'all. Okay, so we're going to put this meal together on a plate. Okay, let me make y'all the plate. Hey y'all, I'm back and I am done. I am done with dinner. You've seen most of it. And if it looks like I've dipped out of the pot, I have. <laughs> These are our string beans and potatoes. Yes, fresh string beans, y'all. I got some cornbread back there in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I showed you my beans. Showed you those beans. Yes. And they are so creamy, y'all. That's my rice. And I've showed you my meat. Okay. And here I have my candied yams. Yes. So come join me here for a plate. I fixed my plate. Yes, I did. I know, y'all. I got a lot 
always have a lot in this kitchen. Small kitchen, so we do what we can. Oh, I didn't get my, oh, uh-uh, y'all. I got to get my candy yams on my plate. I knew I left a spot for something. Let's get a couple of these candy yams. I thank y'all for joining me today. Yes. I'm not going to get a couple. I'm going to get a few. Okay. Yes. Y'all. I want to show y'all this plate. Yes, I do. Now, my cornbread broke up because it didn't wait. It was very, very hot. Okay, and that's not Jiffy today. That's that Krusty's. I'm going to try that. And look at those beans, y'all. Look how creamy. Mm, 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 mm. Creamy those beans are. That's my fat in now. I got a piece of, of um ham hock here and a piece of that hog jaw there. Look at those beans. They are good. Mm, mm. On my rice, I got a little bit of that gravy on my rice. There's that meat. Didn't need to cut it. Just take something and pull it apart, y'all. Look at that. Just take something and pull that meat apart. It is so tender. Mmm, 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 mmm. And flavorful, y'all. We got some good flavor on that meat. Yes, we do. And, of course, I have my... My candy yam. This plate heavy, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's heavy. And y'all know these candy yams are good. My favorite here. Mmm. I'm there. My string beans. My fresh string beans and potatoes. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is my plate. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to enjoy it. Yes, I am. I didn't make a dessert, but I know me. Maybe a little bit later on today. I got plenty of time. I might get in here and do something. I'm not sure. But I thank y'all for joining me for this Sunday meal. My husband's waiting on this pinto bean. They are so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all, remember to like, share. Share my videos y'all out. Share them. Comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not, okay? And I'm going to see you real soon again on another video. Bye-bye.